Good evening guys, Daniel here again from Single Mole Jack. Welcome back. We're here at Lake Maroon and we've just had a fantastic day. We're just sitting by the fire, cooking some steaks and uh, we've got these massive cattleman cutlets from the Boona Butcher going on in the background of the fire. And I am sitting here with this Glen Grant Arborallis whiskey. So stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you a bit more about it. So I'm a re really big fan of the Glen Grant. Um, I, I think they do some, some fantastic stuff. Um, if you go back to one of our previous episodes, um, you can see the review we did on the on the 10 and the 15. Opening up the first edition of the Glen Grant 15. I think, I think we need to, or you need to save it for a special occasion. But look, it's been really nice to be able to sit down and sip on the, on the Glen Grant 10. Um, I love it. I love all Speyside whiskies. For me, it just really, really hits the, the, the palate for me. Um, and uh, I, I think the 10 was absolutely an amazing whiskey, um, especially for the price. I managed to find this bottle um, at BWS for $60, okay? So it, it is called the Glen Grant Arborallis, okay, which is, which is here. And um, they say on here, it's honey, dried fruit, delicate spice, um, intrigued with every sip. And um, you know, it's, it's a little bit cheaper, I guess, than the Glen Grant, Glen Grant 10. Um, in terms of the age statement of the, this whiskey, I'm, I'm not 100% sure because it, it doesn't say. Uh, it's been bottled at 40%, okay, which is pretty standard for a, uh, for a Scotch uh, single malt whiskey. Um, in terms of the flavour profile, I definitely agree with what, what they have on this, uh, on this box. You know, for a, for a um, I guess just an easy sipping, you know, every week um, type whiskey um, for a $60 price point. I don't, I don't think you can get something that, that's much better. Usually I do buy the Glenfiddich 12 um, year old, but that wasn't on sale. I think that was 70 something dollars. Um, okay, so I thought, you know, why not try this one? Um, you know, for that price point, I, I think it's, you know, quite a, quite a good whiskey. You know, it's not, not very complex, um, but the flavors of that, just honey, um, you know, maltiness, um, you know, the, the, the dried fruits, it, it really does come through and it's not too complex. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got the fire going and uh, we've got these juicy, juicy, juicy cuttleman cutlets from the Boona Butcher. Um, massive shout out to you guys at the Boona Butcher. Um, you guys have done a fantastic job. Usually when we do come camping out this way, we do stop at Boona in the morning, um, pick up a few steaks. The meat's really, really good, um, you know, and just, Sitting here, we've had a couple of beers today. We've done some water sports, and uh, we, we we think this uh, obviously this meat is going to be absolutely amazing. So stay with us, guys. We got these cattleman cutlets to eat. We got some whiskey to drink. We got some beer to finish, and uh, we're going to catch up with you guys a little bit later. Cheers. <laughs> 